Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This is a quick look at the new Arai CTZ motorcycle helmet. For the full review, more photos, and all the details, please visit WebBikeWorld.com. The CTZ is brand new from Arai, and it is an evolution of the Arai XC Ram, the company's previous open face helmet design. The Arai XC open face helmet continues in the lineup, and it looks similar to the CTZ, but it doesn't have the sunshade peak on top. The most significant changes to the CTZ are the peak and slightly longer and wider jaw protection along the front of the helmet. The jaw protection is what distinguishes the CTZ from most other open face helmets. The CTZ sort of looks like a cross between a dual sport helmet, like the Arai XD4 reviewed recently on WebBikeWorld.com, and an open face helmet. And a full face helmet for that matter. But it also looks very similar to a trials helmet, for those who may feel claustrophobic in a full face helmet, or who want an open face design for its better visibility and potential of airflow, the CTZ has to be one of the safer designs out there. It has a huge face shield that provides virtually unlimited visibility, and that's a big plus, and also the most significant difference between this and a full face design. Unlike other Arai helmets, the CTZ face shield has three light detents but it can only raise as far as the adjustable peak will allow. It also has a friction stop that prevents it from lifting at high speeds. The standard Arai brow vents are also here, built into the top of the face shield, although they don't seem to add much to the ventilation on this helmet. The peak is adjustable, but it's not clear what function it really serves. It only helps to block the sun when it's overhead. In fact, the large face shield means a lot of glare intrudes when the sun is in the 10 or 2 o'clock positions as you're riding. Arai says the top venting system was taken directly from the Corsair race helmet. It provides an acceptable amount of subtle ventilation. There are three of the standard Arai top vent switches to mess with. The center vent opens towards the rear and is, ironically, the loudest of the three. The rear exhaust vents can be opened or closed, but does anyone ever close them? Two more exhaust vents are located along the bottom of the helmet shell in the rear. The CTZ uses a double D-ring system, and once more, the padding material underneath is way too short. We're not sure why Arai uses such short sections of padding on all their helmets, but it is annoying. The liner and padding is also typical Arai, and it feels very similar to the Arai RXQ and Signet Q, also reviewed on WebBikeWorld.com. The lining uses the removable 5mm pads, which allow for some customization of the fit. The shell feels very sturdy and the CTZ meets the DOT safety standard in the US and US models are also Snell approved. So that's a quick look at just a few of the features of the new Arai CTZ helmet. For the full review, more photos and all of the details, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.